So this question is extremely fucking weird, and this is not me trying to play entertainer. This is something that shows up on the 2CK forums, especially for surgery, okay? So this is actually something the NBME cares about. Once again, it's not my opinion. It's not me trying to have fun here and being uh, asking obscure stuff, okay? So 36-year-old woman, she has a one-month history of right upper quadrant pain that occurs after meals. Instantly, that sounds like cholithiasis. Vitals are within normal limits. She does not have jaundice or scleral icterus. Uh, serum studies unremarkable. Abdominal ultrasound, abdominal ultrasound confirms that she has cholelithiasis, stones in the gallbladder, and a four centimeter hepatic mass. Uh, they go on to do a CT of the abdomen that shows a hepatic mass with a central scar. You say, hmm, no fucking idea what that means. That's really weird, right? I agree. It's extremely weird. So the question's asking, uh, what's the most appropriate next step in diagnosis? Now, the diagnosis here is called focal nodular hyperplasia. And I would guess for most people watching this, you've never heard of that before. It's a hard 2CK surgery detail, okay? It's on the NBMEs, as I just said, and it's a benign hyperplastic lesion of the liver, as the name implies, focal nodular hyperplasia. It's a benign hyperplastic lesion of the liver. It's technically a tumor. And for whatever reason, on imaging, when you do a CT, it shows a central scar. And the USMLE, they want you to know that you do not need to investigate it, okay? No further studies indicated. You do not need to biopsy it either, which it's not an answer here, okay? The biopsy, but no further studies indicated. Now, as I said, the point of this question is to merely inform you of that weird diagnosis slash factoid. Focal nodular hyperplasia, a benign lesion of the liver. It is hyperplastic hepatocytes that, for whatever reason, have a central scar when you do an abdominal CT. No, you do not need to check hepatitis B serology. No, you do not need to do an MRI of the liver. Alpha feta protein concentration would be for hepatocellular carcinoma. It could be hepatinoma as well. As far as when AFP might be increased in the setting of a hepatic lesion, but I should note as the caveat that even if we did suspect hepatocellular carcinoma, even if that were the suspicion here, that's not going to be the next step in diagnosis anyway. We're not going to do that. Tumor markers are very, very rarely uh, a diagnostic step, okay? They more can be used for follow-up uh, with patients. Uh, we would do a biopsy if we thought that this were a hepatocellular carcinoma. Anti-mitochondrial antibodies, that's for uh, primary biliary cirrhosis. That would be a woman 20s to 50s who has jaundice, uh, pruritus, and high cholesterol, okay? Now, even though we've got the uh, cholithiasis here, that's not uh, related to this specific diagnosis. That's what 2CK will do sometimes. They'll throw in other extraneous details that uh, can confuse students, uh, but that's your take home here, okay? We don't need to make this a 17-minute clip. Focal nodular hyperplasia, okay? Weird liver lesion that's benign and it has a central scar. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.